I think you have been more than you can chew. And what is that supposed to mean? If you do not retreat your steps, I shall personally declare war against you. <laughs> through him. All right! You come and throw me out. Come and throw me out! Dare all of you! Throw away my order. And you came back with that. That's not. Your fellow boy fought you. And you came back. You were fighting at the top. Where did you? Mom, I'm sorry. He cost it. Eh? You, 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 you tell me that nonsense. You can misbehave because your father did not come to the house. Huh? I will deal with you. And I mean it. Mom. Shut up, Mike Tyson. Fighter. That's what you are. And that's what you came to the village to do. But, but, Shut up! But, but, you are crying because of this boy. You are crying for this boy. Fight him! Fight him! Shut up. Count on Grandpa's wisdom. Yes, Grandpa. Grandpa, I've always wondered this our town is named Upomi. Yet, that was stream flowing in it. Moreover, we came endlessly. The third was built by one, one Mazi Ikereke. I think Ubomiri symbolizes water. Yes, there is flowing in the land. You bring back my father's. He once told me a story, and I'll tell you now. 
so that you can tell your own children or grandchildren they confront you such a question. Oh. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. Yes. Yes. You see, them of water scarcity has been only for many, many years. Many when the sky was the footpath of squirrels. I'm hungry. What am I going to eat this morning? Don't worry about food. Please. Nah, the worst has happened. <laughs> the Ubomi River has dried up. What? There's what? no water. What? There's no water, Papa. What? I'm just coming from the river. The Ubomi River has dried up. Let me go see the river. a drop of water. Hey! So where did the water go? I don't know. I'm so scared. Who go me delay? Mama, why are you running? Do go in the river has dried up. Huh? No. This is unbelievable. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. So, that means we have our bath anymore. Let's go and see for ourselves. Let's go and see for ourselves. has befallen our people. Ubumli River has dried up. Igwe. Igwe. My daughter just told me that the river has dried up. They have already heard it. They have already heard it. Dick, I'm not referring to you. I said the Igwe have already heard it. Igwe. 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 I watch our Lord Igwe. Just when it's a problem, Igwe. Hey. 
Igwe. 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 There is problem. Who is Sabude? There is problem. What do we do? Hey. Igwe. Igwe. What I have dried up. Angela, what are you doing here? What are you doing? You don't belong here. Nikki, what do you know what is he doing here? Is he not a member of this community? Is he Please leave this place. Leave this place. You don't belong here. Please. Angela, go. I'll see you later. Igwe. 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 No. The whole town is full of confusion. Hey. People are running help us. I don't even know what the gods want from us. My sister, the words that I don't know who has offended. Eruru. Hey! People are confused. Problems here and there. What do we do? What do we do? What do they want from us? The gods want Ma, 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 I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You are? What do you want me to do? Where can I get water to cook for you? How many families are cooking in Mbomiri? Don't you know our river has dried up? Please, Sudoka, help me talk to your brother. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh -huh. Just try and manage. Eh? At least not for some time now. What fruit? What fruit? Ah, I'm off it. Ah, I'm. Ah, I'm. You can as well throw it away. After your mates are out there getting food for your families. You, Mary, look at you. What is even wrong with yourself? Mama, eh? you are the one spoiling our ham. Mama, I said you are the one spoiling our ham. Mama, is it because you're only son? Mama, you're the one spoiling our ham. Hey. Mama. Please, I'm going to one mass house. Mwah. Hey, one man do oh. oh. Sorry, oh. It's because of this case of water now. Huh? Hey. Chimo. Hey. No, no, you said it. I feel like going to the toilet myself. Chimo. Is not here yet. What must be keeping her? Dike, 
She's on her way. Quiet! Did I ask you? Did I ask you? I asked you, we're not you. Do you live with her? Do you know where she is? Your Highness. Um, what, what, what must be keeping her? Heruru heruru bi ya ubu a e a e Heruru heruru bi ya ubu a e a e Heruru na bogi e a e Heruru eze wanyi na bogi o e a e Your Highness Ah, eze wanyi Has the goddess spoken? Your Highness, up to this moment, she hasn't spoken. Why not? Make her speak. Keep quiet. Are you a god or a goddess? But you compel the gods to speak at your behest? Are you mad? How dare you? A mere mortal. This creates the sanctity of you. So, what do we do now? What do we do? DK, mm -hmm. what do we do? Do we consult another god? suggesting that we consult another god. This is entirely in the province of Eru, so it will be wrong to go and seek advice elsewhere. We must now be compelled to propitiate the gods before she speaks to us through the Ezemwani. So we must do something, your highness, we must. My throat is very dry. There's no drop of water anywhere to drink or even to bed. This situation is getting worse by the day. This is the situation we have found ourselves in. What do I do? Well, I don't have any choice than to urinate and drink my own urine. Well, I'll do it. After all, I'm not the, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who, who is doing this. Tell me what to do If I had my way I'll make the river 
I will come back to my own house again. No, you're welcome. <laughs> because what is the problem? I want to feed the goats this morning. I discovered that four goats died last night, including three sheep. Go and see for yourself. What must have killed them? Didn't you feed them yesterday? Them. For two market weeks now, they've not had water to drink. No water! And you and the way you're having meetings. Holding meetings. Listen. <laughs> Listen. We are trying our best. Which best? Your best is not good enough. Which best? Because you should know that we are not the gods. This matter is for the gods. Do you understand? Look at another day. I am just died like that. Didn't you attend the better? Or didn't you hear? Didn't you hear? Please, please. Don't let us get off hands case. Nah, I'm case case, whoever. Please. I'm just coming back. I left here since morning. I'm hungry. Please, can I have my food? Let me just eat. Which food? They wanted to cook the food. Or not onto water. Ngozi. <laughs> you mean you did not cook in this house? No, go and hold the meeting with Igwe. Very soon, all of us will die. And it will be left you and the Igwe to be able to hold your meetings. Go! Go. I 
I think it's high time we did something about the situation of our community. Look, our people are suffering. There is scarcity of water. We can barely cook. We can't have our breath. And we do not want to call the community to address us. Ubonmiri is no longer Ubonmiri. Anyway, I think you're right. It just occurred to me now. It's true. See, we have neighboring towns like Ebada. We have Morubi. Why can't they talk to them to allow us fetch water from their streams? Our people are suffering. We are suffering. I believe as representatives of the youth, let us go to the Igwe and his council. Let's talk to them. Let's make them understand that our people are suffering. Let them understand how we feel. But you're right, though. Do we see him tomorrow? No. I suggest we go now to the palace. They are holding a meeting there now. Let's talk to them. And let them understand that our people are losing hope. But you're right, though. You're right. I suggest we go and see them now. Our recent situation is, is so pitiful. Honestly. It's nothing less than famine. We have to do something. Let's go now. Let's go. Elders of Ubonmiri land, we greet you. Your Highness, we have come to table our protests as the representatives of the youths of Ubonmiri. Since the disappearance of the Ubonmiri River, our people have been suffering. We are thirsty, we can't cook, and we are even smelling. We've been expecting the Igwe to, to address the community ever since then, but nobody has address the youth so we have come to know if anything is being done to reverse the situation youth of ubomiri have i spoken your mind yes it is all right uh, you would please address the youth on our behalf um youth of ubomiri <coughs> I greet all of you. Um, ever since this calamity befell our people, we've been meeting regularly, trying to find a solution to this problem. It is true we have not addressed you publicly. That is not to say we have not been occupied with this problem. But we decided that we must address you only after we would have found a solution. We have consulted with the priestess of Ubumri River. The priestess, in turn, promised us to consult with the goddess and get back to us. We have not, up to this moment, heard from the river goddess. But we have not given up. We believe that before long, the goddess will speak to the priestess on what we ought to do to ensure that we find a solution to this problem. We are optimistic that this will happen before too long. We want you to bear with us. We know your plight. The same thing applies to us. We are concerned, we are worried, just as we know that you are disturbed. But as we say in our place, anything that has a beginning must naturally have an end. The 
Igwe have been disturbed. We have shown some concern. We know that you are all worried. Before long, I'll give you my word. There will be a solution to this problem. We are grateful, Your Highness. May you live long. Thank you. May I live long. May I live long. She's barren. Ebe, what if she doesn't give you a child? Arif, Arif, look, 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 look. I know you don't like Nenna, but I'm not bothered about it. Please, I beg you in the name of the gods, don't bring her into any of our discussions anymore. Please, I love her, and even if she doesn't give me any child, I will go ahead and marry her because I love her, and that's the way it is. Please, Ebe, why not reason? Ebe, come, come, Ebe. Market days, you thought I was sick. But today, I want to see why. Mm. And she told me that uh, I'm 22 weeks market days pregnant. You? Pregnant? Yes. You? My ancestors. Hey! Our gods. Thank you for remembering me. My ancestors. I'm grateful. I ask that this one should be a boy. He said, oh, and he'll be a boy. <sighs> Hey! This community, they will hear. No, no. No. You know why I called you up this night? I want to talk to you. I am not happy with you at all. You don't impress me as a son. You don't behave like the son of a warrior. You're lazy. You don't go to the farm when you ought to. Before the river dried up, you would hardly fetch water for the family. Your mother asks you to help her at home. It takes a lot of doing before you decide on what to do. That does not make me proud of you as a son. You know that the Igwe has no son. If he joins our ancestors tomorrow, the responsibility for overseeing this community becomes mine. I will mount that traditional stool. As you can see, I'm also getting on. If tomorrow, as the Igwe, I am invited to confer with my ancestors, it means that you will have to take over the throne. And from the way you're getting on now, I'm even scared to think of what you will do when you get into that place. So, Nana, I am not happy with you. You are not giving me cause to hope for the future, no. Not at all, no. Nana, mm. I promise you that from today, I will start going to the farm regularly, and I will be helping Mama. All right. Let me start watching you from now. Hmm? All right, you can go and sleep now. No. 
catch you both. Good night. <laughs>
Take him away. No! Go and bury him. <laughs> In the presence of your father. No. Who's father here now? Has refused us from fetching water from the street. <laughs> we 
all are smelling in this community. You are smelling, I am smelling too. There's no way they will fight in your presence, Nai. Hey! Heru! Heru! Please help us. Do something. Tell us. Tell us. Where do we go from here? Help us! The situation is getting out of hand. People say that when the body of an animal itches it, it goes to the tree to scratch it. But when the body of a human being itches him, he looks for another person to scratch his back. We have come to you because you have a problem, our water problem. I want you to scratch our back. <laughs> Igwo Ojiko, you are speaking in riddles. Igwe, I greet you. Uh, Ebada and Ubumiri are neighbors. They have lived side by side and enjoyed fine relations from the time of our forefathers. Your father, Ujimba, the first, was a very nice person. Our people loved him a lot. In fact, we fought most of his wars with him, especially me, Dikogu. Make your request. Our river has dried up and we have come to ask a favor from you. Allow us to fetch water from your river. How did your river dry up? Wine tapa does not divulge all that it sees on top of the palm tree. Through it! There is an adage that says that nothing goes for nothing. You may have helped my father, but this is a new dispensation. My father is gone, and I now sit on this throne. However, there are some conditions which you must fulfill if I will grant your request. Conditions? Conditions. First, your people will sweep our village square once every market week. Secondly, they will keep clean the river banks every single day. Thirdly, you must pay tribute to me once every two market weeks.
These people are our neighbors. Ichi Ekere, I did not ask for your counsel. It's disturbing me too. <sighs> but life has to go on. Mm. You know I love you. I love you very much. I like you too. Don't you love me? You're a nice person. I, I want to come with some of my uncles to see your parents so we can initiate the marriage rights. Your Highness, there is something I've been wanting to tell you, but I've been waiting for the right time. And I think this is the right moment. Our people love you a lot because you've been a very good, kind, and considerate Igwe. Um, I'm aware that you loved your late wife a great deal. I also know you've mourned her long enough. Your Highness, I think it's about time you considered taking another wife. You see, in moments of distress as we experience today, nothing can serve as a substitute for the comfort provided by a loving wife. Besides, if tomorrow you proceed to join our ancestors, there will be nobody to occupy this throne. And you know, we deserve an heir in Ubo Miri. Because of these two considerations, Your Highness, I am suggesting that at your earliest convenience, you seriously consider taking another wife. Thank you, Your Highness. I thank you so much for your concern. And you see, this is something I've been thinking about for a long time. But you see, given our circumstances now, it is ill-advised. Ubomiri is still facing very serious problems. And it will not be advisable for us to do anything that does not promote the interest of the people of Ubomiri. I want to assure you that as soon as Ubomiri is out of distress. I will take a new wife. Thank you very much. But one more thing. I want to thank you immensely. This has shown me what a good friend you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate you. I appreciate you. Mm. Yes. Are you jealous? 
I am not. <laughs> that reminds me. Everybody is coming today with these people. I know. That's why we are here. New bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why you are just shining and radiating like the morning sun. I need to. I'm so happy. <laughs> I hope all is well that you visit by this time. All is well. It's a very happy very well. journey that we have come well, well. to your place. We're here on a yeah. merry trip. And you came with a keg of wine. And some uh, color nuts. <laughs> but was, uh, I thought you would have offered us a seat before those questions. Uh -huh. uh, no, I don't have a seat in my house. Huh? Huh? Yes. Uh, I'm only here. Yes. Um, Ebube, the son of my late brother has come to ask for the hand of your daughter in marriage. Yes. Yebube mm -hmm. has come to ask for the hand of my daughter in mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, of course. Mazukon is a happy one. Are you people strangers in this community of ours? Of course, we are not. We are not. So, at this turbulent time of ours, is when you choose to come and ask for the hand of my daughter in marriage. I think you must be out of your senses. Please leave my compound now. Huh? Uh, leave my compound now. I said leave my compound. No, no, we, we. Okay, we shall see. for the hand of my daughter in marriage. So when you marry her, go and drink her blood. Nina, I'm very sorry about what happened at your place today. Honestly, I, I didn't mean to cause you any embarrassment. I was only carried away by our love. Your father was right. I shouldn't have come to ask for your hand in marriage at this time when, when the community is in trouble. I only pray that this, this whole situation comes to an end very soon so that we can carry on with the marriage. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's just that I'm scared. No, you don't have to be scared. Everything will be fine. The gods have said nothing. And so the people went to the priestess of the goddess of the river to beg her for the gods to intervene. But, Grandpa, did the gods intervene? Man. This situation is choking me. We cannot sleep. 
We cannot rest. We cannot cook. We cannot eat. Please, has the goddess spoken? people are suffering. Tell me how we have offended you and what to do to appease you. Everyone, please restore our happiness. Answer me. I said one. Yes, my daughter. I summoned you to a wild stream. My water was desecrated with the menstrual flow of a virgin. In three market weeks, I will tell you what to use to appease me. You can now go. Thank you, my goddess. You are always a mother of mercy and kindness. Thank you. Hey! Abomination. We must find the girl that did it. This will bring untold hardship on our people. Hey! At least we now know the problem. So what is the solution? Yes, what, what, what must we do? The goddess did not tell me. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Wang, please, please, find out what we should do. But please, ah. please. Yes, I did. I'm here. Uh, Your Highness. You see what we are passing through? Things have turned upside down. Upside on us. down. I... No food for the people. Famine everywhere. Because there is no water. And you are. Mirwa Motonye, a well-known rain maker. I want you to go and make the rain to fall before sunset today. Igwe, this is dressing. It is impossible to make fall. It is possible. If it is possible, make it possible, then. Make it possible. Igwe. Let me please go and do it.
the Igwe has asked me to make rainfall. Before sunset, that's where I'm going to die. Please, you shall do no such thing lest you bring calamity upon yourself. Now, go back to your house. Things are getting worse. Eh? Muno one more Tony died only yesterday. As a result of what I asked him to do. Hey, may the gods forgive me. But I did it in the interest of my people. Mm, 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 mm. Papa, what is it? I don't know. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Go, go, go. Nama, please talk to me. What is it? Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, please talk to me. Since morning you've not eaten. Papa. I beg you.
It was your turn to sweep part of a brother. Hmm. Hmm. Igwe Ikenga is a wicked and heartless man. He is so. I ask that Eru should forgive us for whatever we have done. You see. <sighs> What is it? There's a... What did she do? My princess. What happened to her? What's wrong? Three men! Three men! Three men took her into a marriage there. Three men? Oh, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Bring her to the palace. Bring her to the palace. Abomination has been committed in your land. What abomination? My daughter, 
the princess and her two maids have been raped and defiled by your people. And I insist that the corpus must be brought to book here and now. Such an abomination is not possible because every other people are responsible people. And even if such a thing happened, shouldn't you have sent emissaries? Emissaries? Yes. Emissaries. When my daughter, my only daughter, had been raped by your irresponsible... What insolence? Insolence. Now listen, Igwe Juku. You do not come to my palace and insult me. You are an Igwe. So am I. And listen to me. Listen very well. Okoro Erueru Surogoda. Iku Dubri and If a child ties the big cloth untimely, when the wind blows, it sweeps him and the cloth away. I will do what I have to do at my own time and at my own discretion. Igwe Kenga, you are very much unlike your father. My father is my father, and I am who I am. Really? Now listen, Igwe Juku. I quite accept that an abomination was committed in my land, and I said that I will do something when I want to. Now, if you don't leave my palace this very minute, I will make a pronouncement and none of your people will ever fetch water from their mother again. the situation. The princess is defiled. Even the Igwe himself is insulted. You are asking me to keep quiet? No. Your Highness, this is a situation that calls for war. Please, 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 please. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Hi! You insult me. I stand by my you word. I, have you I stand by my word. Taco and Dickon, it's all right. Our hands are already full with trouble, so we shouldn't add more. It's all right. Please sit down. Dickon, your highness. I know how you feel. It is a very bad situation. But, given our circumstances, I would not advise that we go to war. 
But I know that the most important thing we should talk about is how our river will come back. Of course. Mm. Of course. I've come to warn you. I think you have beat up much more than you can chew. And what is that supposed to mean? If you do not retrace your steps, I shall personally declare war against you. <laughs> All right! Come and throw me out, I dare all of you! Have you noticed that each time we are at the cabinet meeting with the Igwe, Njaku opposes every suggestion that I make? Jacob, I've noticed this several times that each time we are in the council meeting, he challenges you. But I don't know the reason. Uh, I'll tell you. He's from a ruling house, no doubt, and believes that uh, he should be the next in line for that throne. He believes I am occupying a position that he is entitled to. So he decides on opposing me at every turn. But you see, he does not know what it means to be a warrior. There are ways of dealing with characters like Njoku. One of these days, I'll teach him a lesson. You see, no matter how hot fire is, curiously, they always use cold water to douse it. Nikogo! <laughs> <laughs> You are the true son of your father. Thank you very <laughs> much, dude. Eh? Ah. <clears throat> uh. Oh, forgive me. I did not even offer you cola nut. Do you <laughs> like some palm wine? Must think of that nature. The night has taken the cola. <laughs> That's our people say. That's our people say. <laughs> All right. I must be leaving. I didn't mind. Ah. Uh. As a wine. Is it that you're not calling her well? Or that she doesn't want to answer? Akoji! Akoji! How dare you desecrate the shrine of Eru? How dare you? The people of Obomiri are suffering. You had better do something, otherwise... Defile the land! You have committed an abomination! And in order to avert the curses, the three of you 
shall be used for sacrifice. Hey, please, 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 what a sweet also kills. Why are you very callous? Very unfeeling. My people are dying. Our livestock. Dying. Yet, you are so unperturbed, so unconcerned. Huh? Have you finished? Why did you suspend my people from fetching water from your stream when I have paid tribute to you? Which tribute? What tribute? Those things are too small and very meager for a king of my status. Ebada is not a bombiri. And let me make this very clear to you. I don't care whether your people are wiped out or not. Eh? Okay, yeah. At least that will help me extend my territory. I'm human after all. And if you don't bring these things as they should be, then none of your people will ever set foot on my land or fetch water from my stream again. What? And for insulting me, you will bring three times the number of tributes that you got in the past. I have spoken. I'm the one that made the offer. All right. Because the yam is sweet, I will tell you people a story. Once upon a time. Time, time, time. Do you know why when people die, they don't come back? All the animals got together and decided that they must send emissaries to Amadioha to tell him that they don't want people to die anymore. Or, if people must die, they must come back after some time. The house was divided. Some of them said no, when people die they should remain dead. The other half said, when people die, they should come back. So they now decided to send two emissaries to Amadio. Hmm? The dog and the chameleon. As you know, the chameleon moved very, very slowly. But the dog it's very fast. The dog has a problem. It always gets distracted. But the chameleon is slow and steady. So both of them set out. As usual with the dog, it kept being distracted along the way. The chameleon was walking gently and proudly until he got to the house of Ahmad Yoga before the dog. And the chameleon told Amadioha, I have been sent by all the animals to tell you that when people die, they should remain dead. Amadioha said, thank you. I have heard you. That is what I will do. 
As he finished saying it, the dog came in, panting. <laughs> no, my dear. I've been sent to tell you that when people die, they should come back or they should not even die at all. Amadia has said thank you. You are late. The chameleon was here before you. And he told me that you all agreed that when people die, they should remain dead. I have listened to him. That is what I am going to do. So, when people die, they should remain dead. So the cause of all our problems is the dog. Wherever you see the dog, kill it. You now know how the story Please. came. I told you people this story because this yam is very sweet. <laughs> if you bring me yam that is sweeter tomorrow with some dry fish, I will tell you the story of the tortoise. Nice. 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 You always tell stories. Yes. That was how my father always told me stories. No. I'm going to prepare a sweet yam for you tomorrow. Good. But so now, I would have preferred it if people die and come back. So people dying and staying there. Kill the dog whenever you see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The gods revealed that the river had been desecrated. Huh? Conspiracy and rivalry came to climax. Ubo Miri was divided, in fact, torn apart. Hey! But, Grandpa. Why? Why, Grandpa? Have mercy on us. Uh, we greet you again. You're welcome. Uh, 
you have served me as a wife for a very long time, dutifully, loyally. And I know that in the process, you have acquired some powers which I think it is now time for you to use. What do you think, do? You're quite a man. We believe that Ezenwani is no longer telling us the truth. That's why we came to see you. We brought this sheep for you and this cow is for you. We bring these things most of the time, but as a why nobody takes all of them uh, without letting you know. So today, these ones we have brought belong to you and you alone. Dicky, mm -hmm. you're right. Whatever you want me to do for you. when our people are suffering. What should we do? Tell me, I'm ready. Look at what Iwi Kenga is doing to our people. Eh? Though we are from Ubon Mary, and we are married in Ebada. Eh? We must do something. Yes, I supplement it. solution to the problem of the drying of Ubomiri River came. Betrayal by the chief priestess's acolyte derailed it because of jealousy and greed. Hey, Grandpa, do you mean that the chief priestess and her assistant had a problem? I still can't tell what the Ezewai means by boneless animal. And what could that be? What else if not earthworm? Earthworm? Yes. How can we use earthworm to appease Eru? Uh, Is it possible? Oh, otherwise it could be a tortoise. Tortoise has shell. What? But, but, but they have tiny bones. Uh, you see, if you twist a newborn child into whatever shape you want, it remains that way. So you don't have fingers. Yes. Igwe! Your Highness. I have come to tell you that the boneless animal required to appease a room is a newborn child. <laughs> I said it. You said it. You said it. I said it. I said it.
to appease a room. It's a snake. You lie! Igwe, she has been deceiving you all. Igwe, that is how she has been deceiving you all. had a disagreement with her because of the suffering she has put the people of her home through. I'll be back for the sacrifice when the day is fixed. Highness, I don't agree with what Akoji said. It is not convincing. Me too, Igwe. Something must be wrong somewhere. Yes. Amadi, Ukano, sit down, both of you. Sit down. Sit down. Igwe. God, you must be right. I believe her when she says that the Ezenwani has been deliberately punishing us here in Ubumili. This is why she always says that the river goddess had not spoken with her. She alone knows why she takes some delight in the sufferings of our people. But now that Akoji has told us what to do, I think we better do it because she's right. When I noticed it, I didn't believe it. But when I came closer, I was convinced. Please take her. It's all right. But Adak, tell me, what do I do? What do I do? Eh? Our ancestors, our gods, what do I do? Please, what do I do? Eh? You just felt like crying, and so you have to cry. I see. I see. No. Now tell me, why are you crying? <laughs> All right. 
Are you pregnant, Adeza? Are you pregnant? You're pregnant. Ancestors. Our gods. See. See what the drying up of the Ubomini River has cost, cost, cost us! What do I do now? What do I do? No heir to the throne. And now, no child, no, no child at all! I will call 
call you one after another. And if you are the one that defiled Ubomiri River, this cowry will appear on your head. <laughs> My flower. I, I innocently went to the stream to fetch water. It is against the law for 
any woman or maiden to step inside the Ugonili River when she is in her flower. With that, she has committed a sacrilege. Hence, she shall be banished along with her family. Please explain, please, please. But we'll be given four market days to prepare herself before going to exile. Papa! <laughs> Igwe, Njoku is the cause of all our problems. This is precisely why he opposes everything we discuss in the palace. He created this problem for Ubomiri, and yet, when I talk in the palace, he opposes me. Look at him. Our tradition. Yes. Must be maintained. It must be upheld. It must be upheld. Good. Manana! Manana! Who is it? Manana! Manana is the one that did what? She's the one that polluted the Ubomini River. She divided the river with her menstrual flow. Awebo! She has confessed. Hey! Awebo! Awebo! Manana! Awebo! 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 Deliver the newborn baby now. Please. <laughs> Manana, please. 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 When you were sick, I had a premonition that something was wrong somewhere. As a member of one of the ruling houses, I should have been the one to succeed the Igwe. As the Igwe have no son to succeed him. Nena. You have disgraced me. You have disgraced me. Now the gods have blessed me with a son. Look at what has befallen me. Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Nam, forgive me. What happened was unintentional. I only discovered it when I was in the stream. What should I have done? I'm sorry. My daughter, in the world of the gods, there's no coincidence for any crime or mistake. Nam. Does it mean that we are actually leaving this village? We have no choice. Oh my god. No. <laughs> the gods of our land. What have I done? 
Why should I bring so much cost to my family? I didn't know. I mean, I said it is so messy. I just, I wouldn't have gotten into the river. I wouldn't have gotten into the river even if I had discovered on my way to the stream. What have I done? Please. Please. <laughs> you have killed me. You have killed me. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why did you do it? Why? It's so painful that I was championing a cause for to return to normal in Ubomir. Not knowing that you were responsible for the problems. I promise to love you forever. I promise to. Why the ghosts chose me? I don't know why they want to use me to punish our land. <sighs> it was not supposed to come out that day. I didn't know how it happened. I can't explain it. I was I was surprised myself. <sighs> so I'm not going to see you again. I'm not going to set my eyes on you anymore. Oh! Are you leaving me? No! No! I'm not leaving you. But you're going on exile. You're going on exile. Okay. Where are you going? I don't... I don't know. But I heard my father say Urata. Urata? Yes. Okay. When are you leaving? When? Echi. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. In that case, I'm coming with you. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. I can't stay without you, my love. Yes. You sure? Yes. I, I can't stay alone. No, I know you love me. I
Hola, mamá. Papa. Come, come, come. <clears throat> you see why I warned you not to associate with Nenna, Njoko's daughter? Have you any kind of hardship she has brought on this community? Have you? But Papa, Nenna is a good girl. Shut up! Let me not hear you talk again. The worst has happened. Mm. Adeze is dead. Hey! Adeze! Yes. What happened to her? She hung herself. <laughs> hey! Oh, well, let me go and see that. Hey! Please take it easy. No matter what happens, I believe one day the truth will come out. Please take it. One day I will come to Urata to come and see you. I have come to take the sacrifice for you. <laughs> Nobody moves unless you want a rule to strike you down. Please. Now give me the baby. No, please. I can't. Please. Give me Mom. the baby. Please. No, Mom. Please. Give me the baby. Is it? Uh, there's no smoke without fire. So it is true. It is true. It is true. Calamity has befallen my house. Mm. Uh, but not apart. Please. Go and make sure that the sacrifice is scheduled for today to appease Eruru is performed so that Ubumiri will be relieved of the disaster. Please, it is important, very paramount. It shall be done, Your Highness. It shall be done. Thank you. yourself a very reliable person. When I become the Igwe, I shall compensate you adequately. Thank you very much. Duru, the plan worked.
also Igoju who has joined our ancestors. <laughs> you said you heard the sound of thunder. Yes. And he shouted. The ways of our gods are very strange. Tomorrow, Njoku goes on exile with his entire family. Yes, sir. Let me see how he will come back and become the Igwe. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> The goddess is weeping. And Ubomi River shall never come back. You, DK, do you? You have fire and shattered the blood of an innocent child. Retribution. Retribution. It's all of it. Does it mean that the water of the rivers will never return? We are still working. Papa, since the river from which the name Ubumi is derived is no longer in existence, can't the name of this our time be changed? Changed. Time is still in existence. One day, the waters will come back. We are hoping. It had better come back. Was it not for scarcity of water I would have fought with this man yesterday? Grandpa, you really, really, really made my stay in the village worthwhile. Uh, so you like my style? Yeah, I did. When you come back another time, I'll tell you another fascinating story. Yeah! Grandpa! Thank you! Thank you so much, Grandpa! Thank you so much, Grandpa! I love you so much, Grandpa! I love you! I'm just sitting in one little corner thinking about my people How they will survive How they will survive How they will survive How they will survive I'm still sitting in that little corner I'm wondering what to do to help my people them survive. How they will survive? How they how they will survive? Now that the rivers run dry, all I see my people do is cry. Tell me what to do. Find my way. I'll make the river, make the river. 